Hey friends, so today we are going to see the next video in this series of linked list. So this video is about the code for deleting the head node in a linked list. So let's first see the cases here and then we will see the code. Okay. In the code, we have implemented these two cases, right? So see, the first case is if there are more than one nodes in the linked list. So at that time, we will delete this head node and we will make the second node as the head node. Means we, this will be the new, new head node. Okay. We will delete this node and we will make this node as the new head node. But in this case, if there is only one node in the linked list, then when we delete this node, this linked list is deleted, right? So when we delete this node, this total linked list is deleted because there is only one node in the linked list and that node itself is the head node in this case. Okay. So these are the two cases. I will just undo the thing so that you understand those two cases here. So this is the first case deleting the head node and this is the second case. Now let's see the code. So you see here is the code for it. Now in the code, the first section is for the creation of a linked list. So as you know, in our previous videos, we have seen how to create a linked list. Okay. I have mentioned the link in the description below. If you don't know how to create a linked list, then you watch that video. In this video, our topic is to delete the head node in the linked list. Okay. But quickly I will revise the code for creation of the linked list here. So see, let me take it to the top. So see, so first we have declared the variables here, all the variables, and then we are taking C, enter the number of nodes. So how many number of nodes are in the linked list? We have taken it in, in this N, then we are creating the first node. And the remaining nodes we are creating in this for loop. And then we have printed that linked list. Okay. If you want to know this in detail, please visit the link in the description below. There I have explained this in detail. Okay. Now in this series, we are moving ahead to deleting the head node in the linked list. Okay. So let's write the code to delete the head node in the linked list. So I'll write the function here. See, we will give, we will give the name of the function as delete head node. Okay. Now this is the name of the function and what we will pass here, which node we will pass, we will pass the head node. Okay. So as you know, we always pass the head node of a linked list to any function which we are writing to process that linked list, right? So with the help of this head node, now we will go into this function, means we'll pass this head node as parameter to that function. And now is the time to write that function. So see, node star, because this function is going to process a linked list, it is also going to return the node. So the return type is node star here. Now node star delete <coughs> head node. Okay. And what we have passed from there node star head. We have passed head from the function, right? So we have called this function here. See, and from this function, we have passed head and we have caught the parameter here in head argument. Okay. Now let's go inside the function. Now, as I have told you, there are two cases. So the first case is, so here you can see. So see, what is the first case? There are multiple nodes in the list, linked list. Okay. So we have to delete this head node and we have to make the second node as the new head node. So let's handle this case at first. So see, if 
head points next is not equal to null means the first case so you see if if there are multiple nodes in the list then obviously head points next is not null there is some node present right so this case is recognized with this condition if head points next is not equal to null okay if head points next is not equal to null let's go inside this if so see here we have to delete the current head so i will take that current head inside a variable p so p is equal to head now what will be the new head see head is equal to p points next so the next node will be the new head right and now i am free to delete the node p so i will delete this node p okay so let me explain you what i have done here so i will explain this code so see how is our link list 1 2 3 and for example there is null okay so as an example we have taken a list with three nodes okay so this is the head node at first right this is the head node now you see p is equal to head first step is p is equal to head so p points to head second step is head is equal to p points next so now head moves to p points next so p point next is assigned to head so head is pointing to this node now right and then you can free p so what is the function free so free is a function which deletes that memory which deletes the memory allocated and the content on that memory of this node right so you delete this node means what you do you free that node so free this node okay remember the function free okay so we free the memory allocated here free p so these are the three steps done here now new head is this as this node doesn't exist this next pointer also doesn't e exist so see now this is the link list so in this way head node is deleted here right so see now in these three steps we have deleted the head node now you see there is a error for p okay so what is this error this error is for the declaration node star p we have not yet declared p okay so i declared p now let's go in else the else condition what is the else condition else condition is if this condition doesn't satisfy if head points next is not equal to null if this does not satisfy means if head points next is equal to null so in this case you see this is the head node so head points next is equal to null so is our second case head points next equal to null so in else i will write p is equal to head at first p will point to head then we free p okay we free that node and if the link list does not exist then obviously head equal to null okay so see i will explain it here so if this is the link list and here is null right and this is the head node so see p is equal to head p points to head free p i freed this node now this node is not there means this pointer is also not there so everything is deleted so this link list does not exist now what we will assign to head now this head this head is null so this head is null it points to nothing this head is null okay 
means the linked list does not exist now. Correct. So in this case, because there is only one node, if we delete that node, if we delete that head node, the linked list does not exist. Right. So let's go ahead. Once we have done this, we will return head. We will return the head pointer. Because see, the function we have called here delete head node. When we go back in the main function, that main function should know the head node of the linked list. In this case, whatever is the head node and in this case, the head node is null. Okay. So, we have returned that. I will just clean the code here. So, see, let us go back to the point where we called that function. So, this is the point where we called the function here, delete head node. Now, <coughs> we will catch the return node in the pointer head. Okay, so I caught that node. Whatever we return from this function, we catch it in this variable head. Right? And here the semicolon. Now, you see, if head equal to equal to null, if head is null, then our linked list is empty here. Because if the returned value is null, means the linked list does not exist now. Because there was only one node in the linked list. And if the head is present, means in the else condition, here in the else condition, this is the thing. Now, we will print the linked list. So, this is the code for printing the linked list. So, p is equal to head and then till we find null, p will traverse to the end and it will print the linked list. Right? So, if you want to know this printing of the linked list, then as I have mentioned earlier, we already have a video on our channel and the link is in the description below. Okay. So, this is the code for it. Now, let's check the code. So, I am running the code here now. See. So, first, enter the number of nodes. I will maximize this. So, see. The first line says enter the number of nodes. So, we have to create the link list. So, suppose there are five nodes. Okay. So, enter node number 1. So, I will give the value 20. For example, to the second node, I will give the value 30. Then 40. Then 10. And then 50. Okay. So, see. 20, 30, 40, 10 and 50. Okay. We delete the head node. So, what is the head node in this case? 20 is the head node. Correct. So, see. Here is the link list. 20, 30, 40, 10, 50 and null, right? So, 20 is the head node and after we delete this head node, we get this link list 30, 40, 10 and 50 and null. This is the answer after deleting the head node, this 20 is deleted, right? Let's go for the second case. So, let's run the code again. So, see, we have run the code again. So, enter the number of nodes, 1. Okay? Only one node we want to enter in this second case. What is the value for the node 1? 30. Now, you see, there is only one node in the link list. See here, this 30 and its next points to null here. Right? We deleted this node, so the linked list becomes empty, right? So, this is the second case. So, in this way, we have deleted the head node of a linked list. The whole code is present on my GitHub repository. I will mention the link of the code in the description below, okay? So, please check that code and practice it. Now, in the next video, we will see deleting any intermediate element. Thank you.